What's up, everybody? It's January 17th, 2022, in the Big Bear Lake, California area. We're starting to get some drizzle. It's not supposed to be much, but it looks like just in the past few hours, they stepped it up a bit. So, yeah, we're starting to get a little drizzle, and uh, there's a small chance for some snow tonight, too. Once again, it's not going to be much. But, I mean, it's going to soften the light. So yeah, just just last night it was saying that we, we might get a, a tiny bit of rain about this time today, but there was nothing for snow until three in the morning and there was like a 30 minute window that we could possibly get some snow, but now it's showing that we could have some snow on and off tonight for quite a few hours, so I'm looking forward to that. And it does look pretty, pretty nasty out here, doesn't it? Wow, they're walking the trash all the way to the dump. Wow, there's no summits over there. It's been packed this weekend. Both the ski resorts have been pretty packed this weekend. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm on the tired side, but I'm, I'm doing better. I think I'm doing better. name Glenn but down in the Philippines how you doing my friend I hope you're doing well Glenn wanted me to say hi um, so hello <laughs> hope everything's great for you I'm interested to know if that tsunami from the from that volcano down in Tonga um, had an impact on you guys. That was crazy. I mean, that was really crazy. Seeing those satellite images of it blown up out of the ocean, just amazing. It just shows the power of Mother Nature. I mean, truly incredible. smoke shop big bear smoking vape i'm telling you guys man i love that guy so much he is so cool he is so good to me and he's so good to everybody that's their second uh, well that's their second shop they have two one in big bear city and one here in big bear lake i strongly suggest people at least check them out and uh the other store it's a lot bigger the one in big bear city and as I said, they don't have just smoke and vape stuff. They have a lot of little trinkets and uh, just, just stuff that you wouldn't think would be there. It's a cool little souvenir shop also. Anyway, we're not gonna go through the village today like we usually do. But look at those, those thick clouds right there. It's freaking awesome. Can't wait till it starts snowing. But you guys know how that works. They get it wrong all the time up here. This is kind of like rainbow, rainbow weather here. We got the sun shining through, we got some drizzle coming down. There's gotta be some nice rainbows around here somewhere. 
Hopefully we get to catch one of them. That's, that's one of the sledding areas. And it's cool because they have an electronic, uh, or it's like, an, it's like an, an escalator that pulls you up to the top so you don't have to walk up every time, which is really nice. The other snow play park has the same thing. And once again, for, for the kids and stuff like that, it's really safe because when you're down at the bottom of the, the, bottom of the hill, you're not going to slide into any cars or anything like that, you'll be safe. I wish all this was happening tomorrow so there wouldn't be as many cars on the road. But it's not too bad today. Not too bad today. started coming down a little bit. I went out. Had a long night last night. So I'm a bit tired. But yeah, it looks like they got some more some more moisture over here. Oh, that's just so beautiful. How those clouds just hang on hang on to the top of the mountain. This really is a beautiful place, you guys. Big Bear is such a beautiful place. So far, we haven't really had very much cold weather, meaning like nighttime lows. My first few years here, we would get a few nights per year that were either zero or below zero. We haven't even come close to that this season. Anyway, we're coming up to Boulder Bay Park in Boulder Bay. This is a really nice spot. There's just so much more snow. But this is the part of town that will get the most snow. And then Upper Moon Ridge as well. But Upper Moon Ridge is a, a significantly higher elevation than right here. Uh, 
Castle Rock Trail right there. A lot of people enjoy that hike. It's not the most difficult hike, apparently. I've never been on it, but that's what I've heard. It's family friendly. I think you, I think you guys would enjoy that. Take a nice little hike with the family. I can't wait for the snow. Right now it's 43 degrees. 1.33 p.m. having a great day. Hope you had a good weekend and a great week coming up. Imagine having to drive up that driveway right there to that house. It's not fun. Great location for the house, but what a bummer to have a driveway like that. clouds just flowing onto the lake right there so why it gets so much more cloudy over here often is because there's a, a, a big opening where the dam is from the other side of the mountain so the clouds sneak through right there instead of having to hit the mountain and uh, lift and condense they just come come right through as you can see we're getting a little bit foggy now big opening straight ahead I mean it's not that big of an, an opening but there's there's nothing blocking the clouds out that direction stay off the lake ice if there was any lake ice to the three sledding areas um, then that's what that's what you should do guys is, is, is just drive around and try to find spots where there's no trespassing signs stuff like that I know you guys are smarter than that Big Bear is heavily armed so, so be careful um, don't trespass now we're coming out of this fog here wow that is just so pretty over there When you guys get into Big Bear here, you're, you're probably seeing, well, I mean, this isn't a lot of snow on the hillside, but compared to everywhere else in town, it's a lot of snow. And you'll be kind of bummed when you get into town because there's just nothing left in town, really. But this is a beautiful sight. Look at the 
clouds pushing on the lake right there. That is so freaking cool. I hope I can get a better view of that for you guys. Man, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. It's totally clear right in front of that huge cloud and then it's fog from that cloud back. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just really enjoying this. This was needed. Just two days ago, there wasn't anything in the in the forecast up here. It's amazing how for like weeks and weeks, or not weeks and weeks, but for two weeks at a time, they'll say, "Oh, there's there's a huge storm coming," and and then all the way up to the day before talk about big storms coming and then nothing happens. It's quite a bummer. And this isn't going to be much more than what we're seeing right now, apparently, but since they're so wrong all the time, I mean all the time, not today though, but it's not really that hard to predict these things like 12 hours out. <laughs> up to one of the most beautiful spots in town which is the Boulder Bay area you guys these houses right here man what what a beautiful view that is those houses get and still some of these driveways are crazy growing up when we had a when we had a house in like arrowhead a vacation place the driveway was crazy steep and long i mean crazy steep boulder bay park there because that'd be a good sledding spot but yeah just drive around and uh you know go street to street and see what you can find obviously guys the closer you are to the mountain itself i'm not talking about bear mountain or, or snow summit just this mountain right here to the right the closer you are the more snow there will be i don't think you'll have any chance to sled on this side of the lake over there over here there's still plenty of opportunity after this will probably be when it turns to snow if we even get any or if the rain really picks up it's not showing it's supposed to pick up much but around four or five o'clock we could get a couple hours of some steady light precipitation
Rivers Lodge and Hillcrest Lodge right here. Sooner than later, that'll be cool. Do a video for you guys there. I want you guys to be able to see all the different options up here. So here's that sledding park right here. Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain and the Mine Shaft Roller Coaster. snow over here on the left hand side at all nothing isn't that amazing though you guys like a one mile difference it makes all the difference in the world i mentioned when i used to live on the big island of hawaii i lived in a, a town called waikaloa village and, and one of my best friends who i met out there lived in a town called waimea and it was only like eight or nine miles away but every day they would get rain and it was a rainforest there where I lived, it was just lava rock and desert. I think it rained twice the whole year and some time that I was there. Anyway, we're gonna go into the village now. And then we're just gonna take the neighborhood streets back to Moon Ridge. Hey, it's the Elks Lodge. In my mid 20s, I. Oops. <laughs> in my mid 20s I used to belong to the Elks Lodge hang on a second it was pretty cool the Elks I've stayed here I recorded it for you guys we stayed in the biggest room that they offer at the lodge at Big Bear Lake a holiday inn resort play there it's a uh, man that's a nice venue guys the cave this is a new store right here called mountain gift Again, you'll probably be charged a lot of money there. As I said, go to Big Bear Smoking Babe. They have all the types of souvenirs and gifts and stuff like that. I always think 
if I wasn't eight and a half years clean from alcohol, I'd probably, <laughs> if I was drinking and driving, which, guys, I never condone anything like that, ever. This is the route I would I would take, so I'm not on, on the boulevard. This is the high school football field, or I third. I think that's one of the fields that the, the high school plays at. I'm not sure. I could be totally wrong. Right there. Big Bear Boulevard, 7-Eleven, and this is Summit Boulevard right here. So the Snow Summit is right there. And we're coming up to the Brownie parking lot. This is a satellite parking lot for Snow Summit. One of the few. Looks pretty darn packed. I'm just so bummed for you guys that it's freaking raining up there right now. Seriously, it's just such a bummer. You guys take time off of work and spend all this money to come stay up here. And then you gotta deal with rain. Look at how many cars are here. Talk about being packed, my goodness. The whole lot. Guarantee you they're probably using the other lot also up on Fox Farm. Jeez, look at that. And as I said, it dead ends in Brownie Lane and Moon Ridge Road right here. But if you go straight, it turns into Moon Ridge Way. Only until you get to Big Bear Boulevard, which is a block up. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are doing good. As I said, I'm a bit tired, but I'm really excited about this. And uh, I will update the more weather we get. Peace out, you guys.